Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the previous video, we beat the SSAN area of the game, and now we are here going to beat the gym of Vermilion City. First things first, we need to teach a Pokemon the move Cut. Now off camera, I did catch myself a Pokemon to learn the HMO1 Cut. It is HM Meowth. Machine set. This Meowth will be our HM user for the meantime. HM Meowth learned Cut. And all you need to do is once a Pokemon has cut, is walk up and cut the tree. HM Meowth will pop up and it will be sliced down, allowing us access to the gym. Vermilion City Pokemon Gym Leader, Lieutenant Surge, the Lightning American. Alright, well, let's take it on. Yo, Champion the Megan! Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Bird slash water bird slash water type Pokemon match poorly against the electric type. He means flying, but he said bird. That's pretty interesting. Beware of paralysis, too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He's locked himself in, so it'll be easy getting to him. There is a challenge of checking a whole ton of trash cans to press the button and activate some switches. If the electric slots were reset... Okay. And there's also some gym trainers to fight. This is no place for kids, not even if you're good. We'll be fighting some gym, gym trainers on the way. And this is Sailor Dwayne, sends out a Pikachu. So, as the sign on the outside said, this is an Electric-type gym. It is our goal here to beat Electric-type Pokemon. Now it is Lu uh, Lieutenant Surge. Is no pushover, especially not with the team that we have. Arguably, we do not have the best team to take this on. Which is why Nidorino is going to be our lead, followed by Gloom. They are the only two that don't have either super weak attacks against each other or super effective attacks <laughs> taken to them. If we send out Crush, it would be super effective damage against Crush. And if we send out Pikachu, the attacks will be super weak and we'll get one shots, probably, because our Pikachu is very weak. This ground type move, Dig, is pretty much our lord and savior here. And Nidorino got paralyzed. Okay, that's okay. All right. Let's keep fighting here, about to use another Pikachu, we'll keep going. I guess I'll just go second, use Dig, and uh, hopefully one-shot it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what has to happen here. Dig was definitely the maneuver here. There is a cave to the east of town that is called Diglett's Cave. You can catch yourself a Diglett there. If you were to do that, you could, in theory, have an advantage against Lieutenant Surge by having a, a, a ground-type Pokemon. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that, I don't think. Be oh, come on. No, no, no. We don't need this. We don't need this. Nidorino. <laughs> come on. This is sucks already. We're not even at the actual gym battle yet. That's okay. We got this. Come on. Hit, Nidorino. Hit. Hit the Pokemon. You got this. I have faith. Excellent. We are one-shotting them when we do connect, so maybe that's a sign. There goes Sailor Dwayne. Wow, surprise me. Yes, we sure did. Alright, and that allows us to check more of these trash cans. See, there's a whole ton of trash cans, and then in the next room I think there's even more trash cans. So we have to check all of these. That's where I hide my electronics, you know. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity, that's why I joined this gym. Yeah, I hide my, you know, light switches, my batteries, my controllers, my six consoles. Engineer Bailey sends out Voltorb, by the way in the trash can, because who would check there? Except for people who have played this video game. They would check there, but hopefully no one else would. That's the plan. Speaking of plans, my plan for this gym is lead with Gloom. Get the sleep out there on the field. Put a Pokemon to sleep. Switch in to Nidorino. Hopefully, in theory, use the move Dig while they're still asleep, and then deal the damage, and hopefully one-shot them. If not one-shot, two-shot, Either way, we're minimizing the amount of damage they can do to us by either sleep or dig. Dig, of course, is that turn of invulnerability. Something like this, right? So this is the perfect example of what, what will happen. Hopefully it just does happen in the actual gym battle. See the Nidorino's underground. Voltorb is still sleeping. Not a big deal. Can't do any damage to us. We pop up, deal the damage, and call it a day. That's the plan. We will see what happens. But yeah, that's the current plan. Magnemite, I'm gonna keep- Magnemite might have Levitate. Let's see if it does. 
I'm nearly certain it does have Levitate. Levitate is, is the ability that a Pokemon has that basically makes them immune to ground-type moves. Let's see if Magnemite has it. It does not. Okay. Perfect. So we can take care of that and gain 400 experience points. Level 25 now. Get some extra stats in. Extra damage, extra defense. Fried! Good. And now let's continue looking for the rest of these trash cans. Trash cans, trash cans, trash cans. I have checked nearly every single trash can. Hey, there's a switch. There we go. All right. And then this one. Wait, what? Wait. Um, I'm going to run and heal my Pokemon, and then I'll figure out this puzzle when they're healed. Okay, so let's interact with this. Only trash. Oh, okay. Oh, no. He had a door switch inside something. Okay, no, only trash. Only trash. Only trash. Trash. Garbage. Rubbish. Scrap. Uh, what are other words? Uh, junk. Debris. Useless item. Nothing. Garbage. Hey, there's a switch. There we go. There's the first electric lock. No, nothing. Hey, the switches were reset. Okay. There's just no way. There is no way. It's completely random. Hold on. I surely am doing something wrong. Surely I'm doing something wrong. Okay. There's no chance. Just have to check each of these and get lucky. Okay. Okay, there's a switch. The first electric lock opened. Oh, I don't understand. Install the traps in the gym himself. He set up double lock saver. Let me give you a hint. When you open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. Okay. Let's try again. And what's worse is I'm definitely... Okay, there's a switch. Turn it on. Okay, right next to it. Is it this one? Nope. Oh my lord. Hey, what's your hint, man? I'll just fight you first. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. He was a hard taskmaster. I think CO is, uh... Um... Actually, I don't know. CO. Chief Operator? Chief Organizer? I am not a military person. So I legitimately don't know what CO means. Like, CEO is Chief Executive Officer. I just, I didn't mean to spam through A on that. So maybe it's just chief officer? Commanding officer, that's it, 100%. It's commanding officer, no doubt in my mind. Switch over to Nidorino again. And then I'm probably gonna run out and heal my Pokemon even one more time after I do this. And then I'll do the puzzle. And then we can get through to the next room, which I think there's one other room before we even fight uh, L Lieutenant Surge. Yikes, we're, we're dealing, with a, dealing with an awake Pikachu already. That's something that could happen. Um, which honestly means maybe we should lead with just Nidorino. Just with a dig move, and we'll see what we can do. Let's try that, actually. Maybe that's a better strategy. There goes Gentleman Tucker. Stop, you're very good. Great. Tucker, what's the hint? It's not easy opening that door. Lieutenant Surge always famous for his cautious nature in the army. All right, I'm gonna go heal up one more time, and then we can solve this dastardly puzzle. Okay, let's do this guessing game. All right, here we go. So, here's the move, okay? What happens here is wherever the switch lies, it is, as the man said, adjacent to it somehow. There's only four ways at most it can be adjacent, two minimum. We will find it and we will execute. Okay, perfect. So the first electric lock opened. Now, it could either be to the left, above, or to the bottom. Is it to the left? It was. Awesome. Okay. So there we go. And thankfully, we can fight Lieutenant Surge now. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I'll tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. The same I'll do with you. Now, is it a good idea to give a bitter veteran a role of position against children? We don't know. Three Pokemon in Lieutenant Surge, starting with Volt Orb. And we're, of course, starting with Gloom. I decided to go with the strategy that I originally thought of. Shockwave is his signature move. We'll be seeing it a lot. And uh, thankfully, it's not very effective against Gloom and Gloom Sleep Powder will miss. Please use it again. Sonic Boom, it missed, and Sleep hit. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, of course, we're going to move into our next Pokemon, that, of course, being Nidorino, and we can use Dig. 
Originally I wanted to teach Rock Tomb, but Rock Tomb was not an option, so this is what we're going to go with instead. Okay, now that Nidorino's on the field, I think we'll eliminate this Voltorb and keep Nidorino in the field. Nidorino is not very fast. All these electric Pokemon will be faster than Nidorino. But if we can get Dig working, we will take one turn of damage, hide for a turn, and hopefully hit the one shot. So I think we have a good strategy. Okay, Gloom gained experience, Nidorino gained experience. About to use a Pikachu. Nidorino will fight against this Pikachu. We'll see what happens. Level 18, we are definitely stronger and we were faster. So we get the dig going right away. Okay. And there's the Thunder Wave that missed. Of course it missed. There was literally nothing to hit. And there's the one shot. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Next up, we have a Raichu. All right, here we go. Raichu is the evolved form of Pikachu. Okay, hello Raichu. You're definitely gonna be fast to me and you hit the double team. I am concerned I have zero moves that hit with 100% accuracy, even through double team. There's some moves that never miss, um, and I don't have any of those. Will this evasiveness do something? The, di the dig did miss, okay. Let's dig again. We are now paralyzed, we're always moving second, and we have the risk of our dig not working. See, just like that. Thank you for exampling. I am terrified of this double team, purely because it will make it so none of my Pokemon can hit their moves. All I need to do in theory is land a single dig. That's all Nidorino needs to do. But this is the third double team we've seen. The evasiveness is through the roof and the chances are getting slimmer and slimmer. We did hit though. We did hit and it was a critical hit, Nidorino. Very proud of you, Nidorino. Very proud. Much easier fight than I expected. Level 26 for Nidorino, leveling up even more. Trying to learn Helping Hand. Let's take a peek at Helping Hand. What is Nidorino trying to learn here? A uh, move that boosts the power of the allies attack in battle. I believe that's only for double battles, and we don't have too many of those in front of us, so I will not be learning that. Player defeated, Lieutenant Surge. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine, then take the Thunder Badge. $2,400 for winning. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. Received TM34, which is Shockwave. Contains Shockwave. Teaches you an electric Pokemon. Shockwave, I believe, never misses. Right? Is that true? Pretty good gym battle, by the way. I mean, we really... I was right, and we did definitely get a carry. Shockwave. It can't be evaded. Yep, so remember when I was talking about how, oh, we need a move that can hit anything? Shockwave could be that move. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is it for the Vermilion City Gym, and we are now free to continue around Kanto as we please. We have a couple of errands before we can head to brand new areas, so in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to be taking care of those. But that's going to be all for now. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me. We get some videos around. I'll catch y'all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Until then, as always, take care.